So in order to make sure that our plywood is perfectly in line with our XY axis, we have these pins that'll pop up from the table. And those pins are gonna reference the X and Y axis. So we can then take our plywood and we'll shove it tight. So those vacuums that you just heard, those are gonna act as a clamp essentially. It's sucking our plywood tight to our CNC bed, making sure that when it does finish cutting out our pieces, it's still still holding our pieces tight to the table, not sending them flying because of the router bit. Hey, this is James over at the Brucklemeyer Brothers shop. Today I'll be showing you guys our newest piece of equipment, the CNC machine. So before we had the CNC machine, we had one of our employees in here. He was constantly just handling plywood, manufacturing all of our car cabinet parts by hand. This process just allowed for human air. It wasn't nearly as fast as the CNC. It's a lot of wear and tear on your body to carry around full sheets of plywood, especially three quarter inch plywood, which most of our cabinets are built out of. Our designer has really gotten a grasp of everything, getting our hinge holes in the correct places. So we're able to use pre-mounted hinges which uh, is just making us quicker and more accurate. This will cut out all of our dados, which we're changing the tolerances based on our new plywood. So tolerance is just the amount of play that you have when you slide a corresponding piece of plywood into this groove. Dados are used in cabinetry often. It's a very sturdy style of joint. That's how we fix up most of our partitions inside of our cabinets. We'll have adjustable shelves as well. We're taking averages off all of our bunks of plywood and making sure our tolerances are no more than, I think it's about 10 one thousandths of an inch is what we set that to. We have all of our plywood very accessible to our machine we're doing limited motion to get one piece of plywood onto our cnc bed so everything's been thought out and we're constantly trying to make improvements to make this process even more efficient than it already is and so before we'll start cutting out any of the files for the day i will go ahead and we'll zero out our z-axis and rehome the machine we'll slowly lower our cutting head down to the table's bed once we get within about a quarter of an inch or so We'll change our intervals on what we're going down. And then we're just making sure that our cutting head is just scratching the surface of our MDF. The Shop Saber machine has a calibrator. Uh, it essentially just makes sure that if you switched out a tool, it's making sure that it knows the height that that tool is cutting at, just so you're not cutting into your surface bed or cutting too deep in your material. Um, this CNC is meant to cut eight foot sheets. Sometimes we have custom orders where we have larger sheets of plywood that we can still fit on the machine, but we might have to replace our tool holder in order to do that. This CNC machine is taking a bunch of individual points from 
files that our lead designer has, has uh, drawn up for us. It's taking those individual points and it is essentially tracing out those files onto our pieces of plywood that we have in the shop. The CNC cuts on three axes. It's going to cut on X, Y, and the 2D. And then Z is going to be your up and down. In order to make sure that our plywood is perfectly in line with our X, Y axis, we have these pins that'll pop up from the table. And those pins are going to reference the X and Y axis. So we can then take our plywood and we'll shove it tight. And once we get that tight to our corner, we'll turn on our vacuums. With these vacuums, you're able to control which uh, areas of the machine are actually sucking down and clamping. We've got four different zones here. Normally, we're cutting full sheets of plywood, so we're going to be using all four zones. This is just nice because if you are cutting out a smaller piece here, you can turn off the other zones and you'll have more suction in that one designated area. Those are going to act as a clamp essentially. It's sucking our plywood tight to our CNC bed, making sure that when it does finish cutting out our pieces, it's still, still holding our pieces tight to the table, not sending them flying. There's no limit to what this machine can't do or can do. We have all the capabilities to cut profiled style doors on our CNC. We can do crown on this. We have a CNC lathe attachment. We can do spindles. We've just scratched the surface. We're excited to see the full potential of it. I think with this new frameless, frameless cabinet system that we're implementing, it's gonna allow us to produce more and more accurately.